Creative baby for the 13th, we have Grandma's teddy bear. Grandma says my teddy bear is very old, about a hundred years. And parts of him are bare and worn around his paws and ears. His tummy once was round and fat, stuffed full of yellow straw. It hasn't got much left of that. He's thinner than before. When she was young and Teddy was new, they'd play for hours. You see, now we have fun together. Gram's Teddy's bear and me. Aww. She has her grandma's teddy bear. You have one of my teddy bears, hopefully, at the house still. He has red pants and little overalls that are green with little red uh, hollies on them. But he is a teddy bear that I got from my daddy when I was very young. Uh, he came to the house and he gave me this teddy bear. He told me he was going to die and that there was nothing that was going to change that and that when he dies, I could hug my teddy bear. And uh, he picked me up and brought me into the house as I cried. And, you know, my memories from when I was younger really make me who I am today because I got to see somebody go through so much and not focus on that, but instead focus on fixing up the houses and going out and, you know, we'd get out of school or else I'd get out of school and he'd pick me up and he'd tell me, where do you want to go? And I got to pick the activities for the day where I wouldn't even go to school that day. And he would have me help him either at the doctor's visit uh, or with other things he needed help with. And, you know, he'd let me pick out the activities if he could go out that day of where I wanted to go. Some days my father was so incredibly sick that we'd spend the day at one of his houses that he left to me and I would just take care of him because it was the right thing to do was to take care of him. And, you know, when you're someone who's so young, who learns to take care of somebody else at such a young age, it really stays with you throughout your entire life. And it makes you love on people so much more and realize the trials and tribulations that they could possibly be going through. All the heartache, all the things that are hard in their lives that they don't talk about, but they could be going through. And it makes you have just so much love and empathy towards other people. And it makes you soft-hearted. It really does. And then as you get older and you go through more stuff of your own, it makes you realize how much more love this world really needs. This world needs so much love. All we are is beings that want to be loved, seen, and accepted. And I hope that you know, Karina, you are loved, you are seen, and you are accepted for who you just are. So I hope that if your favorite color is purple, it's because your favorite color is purple, not because your papa's favorite color is purple. I hope that if you like ladybugs, it's because you like ladybugs, and not because your grandmother does. I hope that if you like snow globes, it's because you like snow globes, and not because your grandmother does. I hope that the things that you like and you want and desire are yours, because the way I was raising you, I was letting you pick out the activities, your own clothes that you wanted to wear for the day, even if you wanted to wear pajamas out. I was letting you be who you just are. So this way you know who you just are. I didn't want you to be an imitation of anybody else. Who you are is perfect. And I hope that you are continuing on knowing what you like, you want, and you desire. And not being shifted in what you like and impersonating someone else. We have enough of everybody else in this world. We need you to be who you are. I need you to be who you are. Papa even needs you to be who you are. I love you, honey. Let's do... Oh, the grand old Duke of York had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and then he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Karina, you're loved. Everybody in this world is so loved, but you're incredibly loved. I love you and I miss you, honey.